Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This 10 inch block is called Crazy Anne and this is one variation. Here's the diagram. I've seen another variation where it had a square here in the corners. Here are four blocks set block to block. Patch A is a four inch finished half square triangle. You have two ways you can cut and piece this. You can cut patches and piece the patches or you can piece squares and make half square triangles two at a time. Either way we're going to cut four and seven eighth inch squares. If you're doing patches you cut them in half once on the diagonal. This will give you two patches. We'll need four patches for the background and four patches for the dark blue. If you're making half square triangles two at a time, you cut squares this size and leave them in, as squares. Do not subcut them. If you're using AccuQuilt, here are the dies you can use to cut them and you will be cutting patches. Patch B is a two inch by four inch finished half rectangle triangle. And we're going to make these with the tri rec unit, the rec part of the tri rec unit. Or you can make them with AccuQuilt. You're going to cut one strip at four and a half inches times seven and a half inches and use this rec template to cut four patches. And we will cut them with the right sides of the fabric facing up. Here are the AccuQuilt dies you can use to cut these patches and we'll need four of the background and four of the yellow fabric. Patch C is a two inch finished square. We need one patch. We'll cut two and a half inch square. Here are the AccuQuilt dies you can use to cut them. To piece this we're going to first sew the half square triangles and these are in the corners. Then we'll sew the half rectangle triangles and these are in the side units. Then we'll put the block together. These are my patch A's and they're the squares for the corner units. We'll make half square triangles two at a time with these. These are the half rectangle triangles and we cut these with the tri-rec tool. This is the tri-rec tool. It's the rectangle part of the set. When you cut these shapes, you'll put the fabric right sides up. That's for rotary cutting and for the AccuQuilt. And then here's patch C, the center square. If you're not familiar with the two at a time half square triangles, there's a short tutorial showing you how to do this. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. Next I'll show you how to piece the half rectangle triangles. For sewing these half rectangle triangles together, if you use the tri rec tool or if you use the AccuQuilt. Be sure you cut off this little corner, this little tip here, and it's very small. So here you can see this little tiny, tiny, tiny piece here. It looks insignificant, but it's really going to help you to put your pieces together when you sew them. So we're going to sew these two together, and this little tip of the one you put on top will match up with the top edge see this you're lining up this edge here and this little piece is what you cut off and see it lines up on this edge going across here so when we do just line up this other part it's easier to do than to describe it to you this is matched up here and then this edge is matched here and you'll sew your quarter of an inch. Here's a close-up of the stitching. The quarter of an inch falls right here on this point. Press the seams open. 
Here's a close-up of the piece that's been pressed. And if you look, there's a little nub you need to cut off here and down here at the bottom. If you see this little bitty angle that's cut out here, don't worry about that. It will be taken up in your quarter of an inch when you sew these to the other units. The same thing happens down here on the other side. There's a little bit of an angle that's cut off here, so don't worry about that again. It's going to be in the quarter inch seam allowance. All of our units are done. Now we just take our trusty prop it board and we're going to lay out all the pieces. Here's our block. So the units together in three rows, top, middle, and bottom. Press the seams open, then sew the rows together and the block is finished. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.